In Wisconsin, the state has authorized local communities to adopt general zoning, also known as comprehensive zoning. Within unincorporated areas, meaning the area outside of incorporated cities and villages, counties may adopt general zoning. County general zoning only applies in areas where towns approve of the county zoning ordinance. Towns also have authority to approve or disapprove of subsequent zoning amendments that affect the town. Towns that choose not to participate in county zoning may adopt their own zoning ordinance with county approval or remain unzoned. Shown on this map in green, blue, and pink respectively are the number of towns that participate in county zoning, that have their own town zoning, and that are unzoned. At the municipal level, the majority of cities and villages have adopted general zoning ordinances. These areas are shown in purple on the map. A handful of cities and villages also exer exercise extraterritorial zoning. This is zoning that applies within one and a half to three miles of the municipal boundary. It requires approval from a joint zoning committee consisting of equal members from the, from the municipality and affected towns. In this sense, extraterritorial zoning is a cooperative venture between municipalities and towns. Not shown on this map are other special purpose forms of zoning. For example, shoreland zoning, floodplain zoning, and farmland preservation zoning. Counties are required by the state to exercise shoreland zoning in unincorporated areas. Towns cannot opt out of shoreland zoning. Shoreland wetland zoning and floodplain zoning is also required of counties, cities, and villages that have been issued wetland and floodplain maps by the state. Farmland preservation zoning is optional, but allows local landowners to claim farmland preservation tax credits.